Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Penny Picker. I bet you did not expect to see this new backdrop. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you should get used to it. It was just so convenient that I had this set up for, uh, for another thing that I was doing. Baby monitoring systems. How to ruin your wallet when you get your newborn because companies that make things for babies know that we are so emotionally attached, that we are so in love with our newborn children. Oh. That they just want to burn holes in our wallets, in our pants, in our underwear, and all the way through our... So I thought, I don't want a hole in my... I don't want a hole in my wallet. I want to have something affordable. Why do I need to pay $300 for a big, bulky, outdated piece of junk when I could just get something for, I don't know, $25, $30, even $50 for crying out loud, but $250, $300? I don't think it's necessary. And that's where little guys like these come in. Little home security cameras. <laughs> Cute little tiny devices to spy on your every... to monitor your child every single move so I tried two different cameras and one of them is a winner by a long shot I tried the wise cam v3 and I tried the blink mini first I'm gonna talk about the blink mini the reason is because right now my baby is in the room sleeping and I cannot take down the camera to show you because there's two things that are gonna be wrong with that number one if I wake that child up God forbid while my wife is making dinner as I'm trying to record this. We wouldn't have any more videos after this, basically. Number two, I'll remove my baby's monitoring so that I can keep an eye on, right? So, the Blink Mini. This is a hunk of trash and a piece of garbage. I got it for five bucks when I got one of those fancy Echo Shows because you can tell the, the Echo Show to show you the camera and you can see the baby on the Echo Show, which is actually how we monitor the baby. Don't want to get too ahead of myself, right? But as far as the Blink Mini goes, number one, only one person can see the camera at a time through their app. Uh, number two, their app will ask you if you want to continue watching the stream if you have it up for for, for like up 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Yes, I want to continue. If it's still open, I want to continue watching it, Blink. What made you think I don't want to continue looking at my stream after 10 seconds? Hello? They took the name really serious. Huh? Blink, hey, you want to cut that off? Blink, hey, do you still want to watch this video? Yes, yes, I do. So definitely not. Only one person can view this at a time. So I'm monitoring the baby real quick. My wife's across the house. Hey, I can't open the camera. Or me, I can't open the camera. Well, yeah, because only one person can view it at a time. So the concept is really great, but Blink, you failed miserably. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the one and only Wisecam V3. This is what we use for our baby monitor. This little thing's got night vision, uh, it's got day vision, but what I really like about this is that it alerts you for movement and it also alerts you for sound. You can mount it a bunch of different ways, so like you can see the base rotates in whatever direction. Uh, there's a magnet on the bottom here and they include a, a circular metal plate where you can place it. And then another thing it has a little hole so you can screw it into the wall as well if you want to do that. I got this when it like first came out. It was like $25 or something like that, but it's still selling at a decent price. Uh, I think I saw it online at the time of this video around $35, maybe two or $3 more. Now I combine this with the app, but in addition to that, I also use the Echo Shows. As you can see behind me, right, there's an Echo Show 5. And basically, I ask it to show me a camera and it'll show me that specific camera of whatever I wanna see. And so that's, for example, how I view the baby. So show me the nursery. Okay. You'll get the stream that you want right up. It'll connect. You gotta sync the Wise app to your, uh, to your Amazon account. And so right now, it's got a, like a night vision going on. You're probably not gonna see it because of the distance of the camera. I'll bring the camera closer so you can see. So right now, I know the colors are, the blue is throwing everything off, but you get the idea. So the lighting just changed dramatically because as I was walking behind the camera, I tripped so hard. I ripped the wire out of one of my lights. So I have to re-solder that. Um, we'll just keep going. So sorry about the sudden light change. Hopefully you like the new light. When the baby wakes up, I'm gonna go by, uh, 
by his room, by his crib, and then I'll show kind of how I mounted the camera. I bought like a little tripod with flexible legs and I placed it right uh, right on the crib. And then the camera is just a regular screw on. So I screwed the camera on and then I just angle it to wherever I want to place it and wherever I want to see in his room. Now the app, of course, when there's movement, when there's noise, it'll actually send me a notification. What's really cool is that Amazon released a feature in their assistant now where if there's a baby crying noise, you can do something as a result of that. I have an Echo Dot in his room and so if there's any crying, I'll be notified wherever I want in the house or on my phone, there's crying in the baby's room. And so I thought that was kind of also a useful feature. Now altogether, as far as price goes, one of the Echo Show 5s, which is one of the smaller ones, during a big sale like Amazon Prime Day or like Black Friday or something like that, you can generally get those in the ballpark of 40-ish dollars or 40 some dollars. You can get an Echo Dot for a similar price, actually less, $25, I've seen $35. And then getting the Wise Cam, I, it's usually at this is all as of the time of this video, about $35, $36. And so if you add all that up, you're gonna pay about $100, give or take, for a screen that you can put wherever you want in your house that also works with your smart home, that is also a speaker, a speaker that you can have in the baby's room, which also has the microphones that'll pick up the crying, it's the Echo Dot, and then also a camera that you can have to monitor the baby, which gives you motion and it gives you sound detection. So I think that is a much more affordable alternative. Something that's also really nice about the Wise Cam V3, this is waterproof and dustproof. Well, I said water resistant. It, it doesn't matter. You can put it outside. So baby grows up. You don't need it anymore. If it still works by then, because who knows, right? I've had it for, I don't need seven months as of this video. So anyway, it's about a year old. It's working fine so far. Uh, you can actually mount it outside or inside the house or whatever, and then you can keep it as security. So I actually have a few of these around the house, which is super useful. Now I bought this with my own money. This isn't sponsored or whatever. I just, I just thought other parents want some help right? Also, you don't have to get all of that stuff, right? You could just get one of the things. So you could just get the camera, download the app, and then just monitor on your phone and on the app. Uh, so it really just depends on everybody's taste. I have Echo Shows all over the house. So I can see it in my living room. I can see it in my kitchen. I can see it here in the office. Uh, I mean, in the studio. <laughs> Yeah, the studio. So I can pretty much see it wherever, uh, which is super useful. I have one in our room. So when we're sleeping at night, we just tell the assistant, show the baby, turn up the volume. If he starts crying, that's our alarm. You'll hear the baby crying through that. It's not perfect. No baby monitor is going to be perfect because you're going to be asleep sometimes. So you can't have eyes all the time, but it's definitely better to be able to have eyes all throughout the house. And so it's something we built up little by little and it's completely worth it. But I also like my smart home. So it also depends if uh, you'd like your smart home or if you don't. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope it kind of helps some parents out when deciding on more affordable baby monitoring systems. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.